Hell no, nah, I don't want to give you what I had to stay up and work for while you was in the bed sleep. Like, no, I don't feel sorry for you. No, you decided to place yourself wherever you want to be in this world and you got to live with that and you and God deal with that. If I just feel nice and I want to just bless you, okay, cool, I will. But I don't feel no type of obligation to, to give nobody nothing who ain't putting in that work like me. And that's around the board. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel sorry for nobody who ain't putting in that work like me. If you ain't in that with me putting in that work, I don't feel sorry for you. Wherever you land in this world, it's the hood, the home, whatever it is. You had the chance to work hard. You didn't. So you live where you live. You live like you live. And that's what your life is because you thought losing was, was cool. <laughs> I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying You see the thumbnail, you saw the clip And we gotta, we, I gotta touch on this entitlement From, from laziness or, or this belief that People need to feel sorry for you because you put yourself in a spot because you were lazy. So, and I, and I understand this. I have, you know, they say God helps babies and fools. And I know people in my life that I know who God has helped them immensely because they're fucking idiots. But, what that means is God didn't necessarily help other people as much. Oh, I shouldn't say that. What I'm, what I'm getting at is this. God knew those people were foolish, so he provided for them to, 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 as much that he could for their capacity for being stupid. They don't have real worries, but they're upset because they don't have everything, but they're too stupid to hold on to anything. So they're always just, you know, Catching these miraculous breaks. Um, but there are people who, who really work. They really bust their ass in life. And you see people who watch somebody really bust their ass and then act entitled with them. Like you said, like you, you supposed to feel sorry for me because you were blessed with the ability to do it or the talent to do it. And it's like, no, no, no. I tried. I worked at it and and I succeeded. And I continuously work at it. What are you working at other than begging? And people think that you feel sorry for people. Like there are people, you know, and I have, I've had a, you know, we've all, a lot of us have had a rough time and a rough life, and I've had a rough time and a, a rough life, and I'm one of those people that I show up for people in hard times, and people call me when they have hard times. But truth be told, when I got hard times, I'm by my damn self. I ain't, I ain't, all them people scatter like roaches when the lights come on, so I don't even fucking decide. I don't even talk to them. Like I already know this shit. I'm on my own. And for a person like that. The older you get, the less sorry you feel for people because you know who you're dealing with. You, like, <clears throat> you know this person, it, you know, they'll put fun over their priorities and then call and beg for the rest. Oh, you know, it's like, nah, I don't feel sorry for you. You just going to suffer. How you going to? So, and some people do that and they have kids and they go, how you going to let the kids suffer? Because you're a fucking jackass. That's how I'm going to let the kids suffer. You, I didn't let your kids suffer. You let your kids suffer because you wanted to do this shit. You wanted, to, you wanted to party. You wanted to go to the concert. You wanted to go to brunch. You wanted to go to vacation so much that you took that, that, you took that money for that that was supposed to be for your bills and you took that money for that and now you didn't pay your bills and that shit getting cut off. And now you want to act like the kids suffer. No, 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 no. You caused the kids suffering. Don't feel sorry for you. To feel sorry for the kids, but guess what? You know, you know, you got people who make this a habit in life. They make it a habit of always needing help. 
and they make it a habit of always needing help from, from people who help themselves. You know, I've known people who've, who've, who's been around people who, how can I say this, who've had enough money and enough business acumen to employ people, to hire people. And these people get jobs that, that, that make money, amount of money that, that they're unqualified for, for one. You know, they got the hookup because maybe your, your family or a close friend, but they're a fuck up. And what do they do? They, they fuck up an easy job. Because instead of giving this person money, they gave this person a job. And then they, and they quickly realize, I shouldn't have gave this person a job. They just fuck up everything. They just get up. Because you watch people not work because they go, you got it. You can get it. You could do it. Well, I got to do it. It's like, oh, okay. And then the bottom falls out. And then we, we, we back to crying 101. I don't know what to do. We, we back to talking about God. I don't know what God got to do. to do it. Put me through this stuff. God didn't do nothing to you. You kept fucking up. And people helped you and you fucked up again. And people helped you again and you fucked up again. And people looked out for you and you fucked up again. And what happens over time is people stop feeling sorry for you. It's like, yo, no, 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 no. It's the same thing when I think about um, uh, people who are overweight or unhealthy and because there are different body types so some people aren't overweight they're their body type they're, they're good for their body type they just you know they're big some people are small it, just, it happens so you know if somebody's overweight whether they're small or big right and they, they say you know I need some help but they, they don't help themselves and they look at you and you're like you're getting results yeah because I you know I'm I'm drinking water. You drinking Dr. Pepper. Why don't you just put the Dr. Pepper down and drink water? I don't want to do that shit. But you're going to get sicker. And then, you know what? I need, I need you to help me. I got type 17 diabetes. You know, I got this insulin. I, don't, I can't do nothing. I'm, I'm sick. I can't do nothing with my life. I'm tired. I don't know what to do. You know, you don't, you know well, I'm not going to feel sorry for you. You did this shit to yourself. You didn't put down the food. The food is just so good. You can get your fucking ass up and go to and go to Chick Fil A. You can get your ass up and go to Wingstop. You get your ass up. You know, go to In and Out Burger. Get your ass up. Go to Water Burger. It get your ass up. Go to Trill Burger. Shout out to Trill Burger. You know, but somehow you can't get your ass up and go to the gym. You can get your ass up and go to the movies. You can get your ass up and go to, go to restaurants. Get your ass up to walk to the door for door dance, but you can't get up and work out. No, man, I can't feel sorry for you. You know, I've known people who um, were drug addicts. You know, and, and, and being a drug addict ruined their lives. And ruined the opportunities that they had in life. But somehow, you know, man, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? You do this, and, but it just don't work out the same for me. Yeah, nigga, because you on that shit. The time I put putting in work is the time you put getting high. So now I'm supposed to, you know, dig in my pocket from the blood, sweat, and tears of my own labor to give to you who was getting high the whole fucking time and not working. It was fun when you was high as a motherfucker. But now, you know, all of a sudden reality set in and now I just, I just need help. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do with myself. No, yeah, what? What you talking about? So no, people don't feel sorry for you. A lot of y'all want a lot of y'all chasing hoes, chasing sex. Y'all do anything, y'all, y'all, and, and this is what kills me. A lot of y'all, uh, when it comes to being a grown teenager, you smart as a motherfucker. But when it comes to being a responsible adult, now you're retarded. And people are supposed to feel sorry for you. And what I mean by you, you, you a smart teenager, you, you, well, I could just go do whatever I want to do because such and such, they, they handling their business, so I can always go over there. You know, y'all act like fucking college students who don't cook who don't clean up and they just go over their family house over the weekend and wash clothes for, over the, at their shit and then you know go eat at this person's house and take leftovers back and then you know the money that they were supposed to put to, to use for uh, washing clothes they spent it on some dumb shit you know 
The money they were supposed to use for gas, they got they got high with it. Now they had a family member of the house, hey, could you fill up my tank? You know, I'm a college student. No, no, hell no. Hell no. And you got adults doing this. So yeah, and, and people like, man, like, man, I can't help you, man. I can't help you. And, and the older you get, the more the, the more knows you going you gonna see from people, and they gonna, they're not gonna give a fuck. Because people have people have helped a lot of people. Hardworking people have helped a lot of lazy people, a lot of irresponsible people. To the point, it's like, nah, no, 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 no. It's just a hundred dollars. It's my hundred dollars. I didn't get you a hundred dollars. Shit, man. If I give you any more money, they gonna put me in. like. What was that line from uh, Moesha? If I pay his child support one more time, they gonna they gonna think I'm the daddy. They gonna they gonna they gonna test me for doing that. Like, no, oh, hell no. And a lot of y'all don't y'all don't want to hear this, but the reality of it is, nobody owes you for being a fuck up. That's just the reality of it, man. And, and, and I'm going to take this back to a story, quick story when I was young, when I was in high school. This guy, cool dude, uh, he, was a, he was an athlete, but more importantly, he was, he, he was, he was like a, he was an honor roll student, a very smart guy. And i never forget, there was this party, and he was, he, he was like, man, we see you, you kick it like everybody else, you had to party sometimes. Man, how you getting all this good grades? He said, because I study. I do my work before I'm going to go. He said, man, listen, I'm going to go to practice. I'm going to go home. I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to pass these tests. I'm going to do all that before. Then I can come to the party. I'm not going to just come to this party and I ain't do nothing. What kind of dumb shit is that? And then people were like, oh, wow. You mean to tell me you getting good grades because instead of just getting dressed for the party and just want to dance and do all this stuff, you, you study first? He's like, hell yeah. They don't act like it take all the time in the world. It don't. It's like, oh my. And you see people like that in life. Because you all see people that are successful. They go here. They go there. They do this. They, they do that. And you think they're just running around being a fuck up like you. So they're just a successful fuck up like you. So, hey man, why don't you hook me up, man? Because you, you got lucky. I didn't. Hell no. That person is still working. They just make their hard work look easy because they're accustomed to it. You're just a lazy bum. Shouldn't call nobody a bum, but, you know, I'm going to leave it at that, though, man. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.